Hey guys, what is going on? It's Shinky, and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get stretch res in Fortnite Season 6. Now, before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know that every single little piece in this video is information that you're going to want to use. Um, because I've actually, in previous, like, stretch res tutorial videos I've made, people have had so many questions in the comments. I'm going to try my best to try to, like, cover everything that you guys are going to need to know. So make sure that you guys do every little tiny step correctly and take it very slow and so then you don't like mess up anything in your game. I'm also going to be putting down like a frequently asked questions thing in the description. So if you guys have any questions, um, either drop it in the comments if it's not already on the frequently asked questions in the description. Um, or you guys can just drop a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys, um, let me know your guys' concerns. And also guys, please, please drop a like. It would mean so much to me. Uh, it really helps out the video more than you guys think. And also guys, please hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of these videos and you guys will not regret it and it's absolutely free so please hit that sub button anyway let's get right on with the video as you guys can see i am currently on just native normal resolution on fortnite season 6 i literally haven't even played a game yet and uh yeah we're just gonna basically gonna go ahead and just close out of fortnite and after you guys have closed out of fortnite go ahead down to the search bar and then look up uh, the percent logo and then do local uh, app data with no spaces and then do another percent and then it should bring you up to this folder and you just basically want to simply click on the folder. It pulled up my second monitor, but here it is right here. And you guys are going to be scrolling down and just look for Fortnite game. Uh, for me, it is right here. So just go ahead and click on that. And then after this, it'll only, it should just bring up saved. And then here, you guys are actually going to click on config. And then go to uh, Windows client. It should be the second one. And then right here, it'll show use game user settings. Now this is where you guys want to be really careful. So you guys want to right click on the game user settings and then go all the way down to properties. Once you guys are in properties, what you guys want to do is make sure that this little thing right here called red only, you guys want to make sure that this is turned off. If it's turned on, just click uh, click on it and then click apply. And then after that, whenever you go, whenever it's to make sure it's off, you guys can just go ahead and click okay. And then after this, you guys are just going to go ahead and open it up just like so. And it should bring up this right here. Now right here, you guys are going to go up to the little edit tab up here. And then go to replace. It should show up right here. And then right here, you guys are going to replace. So if you guys are using um, 1080p resolution, which is what most people use, then you guys are going to go ahead and do find what. You guys are going to change that to... 1920 and then change it out with whatever resolution you're switching to. I would really recommend only using one of three resolutions. Those resolutions are 1750, 1600, and 1440. The most popular one is the one that I'm going to be using, which is 1750. Um, but yeah, put one of those three in. So basically 17, 1750 is the least stretched and then uh, 1440 is the most and then just go ahead and click replace all once you guys finish that you guys can go ahead and cancel and then go this is really important guys go up to file and then go ahead and click save and then you guys can x out of this game files and then you guys can go ahead and go into the properties and then now uh, even if you guys had red only turn off turn it on now and then click apply the thing is with this is now if you guys try to change your settings like whenever while you're playing Fortnite, it'll change like while you're playing. But if you guys close out of the application, all of your settings will go back to how they were originally. So if you guys ever want to change settings, you're going to have to go into here and then turn red only off and then change this and then go back into Fortnite, change settings. Basically, this is so if you guys ever accidentally like switch to 1080p or like turn off stretch resolution, it won't like it won't just get all messed up and stuff like that. So yeah, go ahead and click OK, and then you guys can just go ahead and X out of here. Once you guys have X out of there, what you guys want to do is you guys want to right click on the home screen, and you guys are gonna go to your NVIDIA control panel. If you guys are using an AMD graphics card, what you guys want to do is go into your AMD software. It should be like, it should be at this exact same place, and you're gonna be changing your monitor resolution to your new resolution. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it on NVIDIA. Then what you guys gotta do is go to your change resolution tab, if you guys aren't already on there. And then click on the customize button. I already have a uh, custom resolution set, but I'll just show you guys how to do it real quick. Uh, first of all, you guys are going to click create custom resolution. And then go ahead and change your horizontal pixels from 1920 to the resolution that you guys changed in game. So for me, it would be uh, 1750. Just like that. If you guys, if your guys were like 1440, you would change this to 1440. And make sure that your refresh rate is on the refresh rate of your monitor. And then just go ahead and click test. I already have this saved, 
So whenever it clicks test, you guys just want to click like, um, you guys want to click yes or whatever it is or like apply. And then, uh, yeah. Whenever you guys are done with that, go ahead and make sure enable resolutions not exposed by the display. Make sure that is checked and then just click okay. And then after this, you guys can go ahead and scroll all the way to the top of your screen and it should show your custom resolutions. And from here, you just click on it and then click apply. Your screen should go black for a minute. That is completely normal. And then just go ahead and click yes. As you guys can see, now my screen is stretched or my recording screen is stretched and yours should be as well. So then once you guys finish that, go ahead and X out of here. And now what you guys can do is you guys can go ahead and load up Fortnite. Now as you guys can see, whenever you load up Fortnite, you guys are now in stretched resolution. It may not really look like it much for me, but you actually are in stretched resolution. Uh, it, it might be a little bit easier to see from here. It's a little bit more stretched compared to how it would normally look. Um, but yeah, this is basically how you guys switch to stretched resolution. Um, I've actually had a lot of uh, people comment in my previous video how you guys actually switch back. I'm going to be showing you guys that right now. Um, so yeah, so yeah guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that right now because that was a huge concern for a lot of people in the previous video. Uh, so yeah, basically same thing, just close out of Fortnite and then you guys are going to go back to your percent local app data percent just like we did before go ahead and open up that folder all right now go ahead and go down to your fortnite game and then go to saved then config and then go to windows client and then go to user game settings and from here you guys want to make sure again that you guys have red only off in the properties tab and then go ahead and apply and then okay and now you guys just want to go ahead and open this up and then just go ahead and replace everything with your resolution so basically you guys are just going to be switching these to resolutions so for me i have 1920 up top 1750 on the bottom you guys are basically just going to switch them so the top is 1750 and the bottom is 1920 and then go to replace all and cancel and then save and then X out of it and now you guys can X out of this now just go ahead and go to your Nvidia control panel or your AMD thing whichever and then your custom resolution and then you guys want to switch off of your custom resolution so go down to it should be PC right here and then go to here make sure that your refresh rate over here is also 144 Hertz you don't want it to be like anything below that or whatever whatever your monitor like Hertz is uh, make sure that it's that and it's also 1080p then click apply your screen should go black and then just go ahead and click yes um, but then it should be good uh, make sure yeah if it's black it does completely normal and then just go ahead and X out and now you guys can load back into Fortnite and it should all be good Alright guys, as you guys can see, now you guys are on the back on like the native resolution on Fortnite. This is 1080p. And, uh, yeah. That is pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any concerns or anything, make sure you guys drop a comment down below. Or go ahead and check the frequently asked questions thing in the description. Uh, those should be able to help you guys out. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys drop a like. It helps the video more than you guys think. It would mean so much to me. And also, hit that sub button down below. Uh, that means a lot to me as well. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. It's been your boy Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I'm out. Peace.